how you want to play it. Valorant is a brand new tactical first person shooter created by Riot Games set to rival industry leading Overwatch and CSGO. After its announcement last year under codename Project A, the community could not wait to see if this game was the next big thing. Valorant is a character shooter, which means that the character, or in this case, the agent that the player chooses will have a large impact on the game. Riot recently invited a handful of creators to playtest Valorant's alpha build, and to put it plainly, we're impressed and we think you'll be too. I'm NoahJ456 with 100 Thieves, and this is everything you need to know about Valorant. Uh, oh my god, I'm so much better. He's, he's weak, 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 150 health. Once you queue up and a match is found, you'll jump right into a character selection screen. Once a player locks in an agent, there is no switching and only one agent can be chosen per team. I'm sorry, but you will not be able to play a five-man brimstone comp and nuke the entire match. Ready. Each game of Valorant is broken down as follows. It's a best of 25 rounds and the first team to 13 rounds wins. You'll play 12 rounds on offense or defense and then switch sides with your opponent for another 12 rounds. A huge thing to note is that Valorant has an economy arsenal system, meaning that each round you'll need to use your credits stored and earned in the previous round to purchase your weapons from the arsenal. Each round in Valorant consists of three phases. The first phase is the preparations phase. You'll be able to move around a portion of the map, but it will be blocked by blue barriers that drop once the round starts. This is your time to buy weapons and armor, and if you don't, you'll have to fight with what you got. The second phase is the actual fight. It's one minute and 30 seconds of a fire flinging, poison breathing, dagger throwing game of chess that ends with the bomb being detonated, disarmed, or the enemy team eliminated. Let's go! Give me my subs, bro! The third, albeit rather brief phase, is the six seconds after the round ends used to pick up any weapons you want to carry into the next round. Rinse and repeat 11 more times, switch sides, and do it all over again until a winner is crowned. This is how a game of Valorant works in a nutshell. Now that you know the overview of the game, let's talk about the economy. The economy in Valorant will be very important to track as the game progresses for both your team and the enemy's team. Let's take a look at the buy menu. As you can see, the prices range from 200 credits to a whopping 4,500. Another very important part of Valorant is the need to purchase agent abilities. The same way you purchase smoke grenades and Molotovs in CSGO, you'll be purchasing spy cameras and crystal walls in Valorant. While two of the agent's abilities are purchasable, the other two will not be. At the start of every round, an agent has access to their signature ability, though they regenerate differently. For example, Jet is able to dash in a certain direction for her signature ability, and this only refreshes in the next round or if she gets two kills in the single round. Other characters such as Sage have their signature ability on cooldown, so Sage will have to wait 35 seconds to heal again no matter how many eliminations she stacks up. For an agent's ultimate ability, you'll have to receive six ultimate points. There are a few different ways to receive these points. Get kills, it's one ult point per kill. The second method is to plant or defuse the spike, and the third is ult spheres. There are two ult spheres on the map, and if you approach and hold down the active button, you'll receive an ult point after a short channel. Now let's see the economy in action. In the first round of the game, you'll receive 800 credits, enough for any sidearm. As you can see, this omen purchased the ghost pistol and one of his C and Q abilities. After a spike plant, three eliminations in a round win, it's time for the next buy phase. If you check in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that Omen earned 300 for his team planting the spike, 200 per kill for a total of 600, and 3,000 for a round winning, raking in the total of 3,900 credits in the first round. Not bad. If you push tab at the start of the round, you can see both teams' economies. If someone needs a weapon because their funds are low, they can right click to request it and you can buy it right to their inventory. Don't worry if one of your teammates buys before the calls to save, as long as the prep phase is still going, you can right click a weapon to sell it right back. For the alpha, Valorant players had access to two different maps, each with their own twist on gameplay. The first map was Haven. Haven flips the standard two side gameplay on its head by adding a C site. The next map is Bind. You won't find three different sites on this map, but you will find a new take on rotations, one way teleporters. Located in the far left and upper mid of the map, this allows the defense to become the aggressors when the offense least expects it. Guns have a set recoil pattern with minimum variety spray to spray and clicking heads is still the best way to win a duel. This game does have bullet penetration. If you shoot the object or wall and you can see a bullet hole, it can be shot through. If there isn't a bullet hole, it can. With all that information out of the way, you're ready for your first game of Valorant. Come on. Good job. Good work, good work. If you're knowledgeable with the game mechanics, but your gameplay could use a little bit more work, then look no farther than the range. The range is accessible through practice mode and is sort of like a training theme park. The main area is an advanced aim training exercise that allows you to shoot bots and increase your reaction time. It has a variety of difficulties to choose from, including a hard mode, but I'm convinced that is only made for Shroud. Outside of the aim training space, there's a side area used to test spray patterns and weapon damage. With the ability to track spray patterns from up to 50 meters away, as well as the damage from each and every gun, it seems that Valorant is really looking to give everyone the upfront info and see how far players excel. Two more portions of the range include a bomb defusal section and a bomb planting section. That's it for the range, though if you want an insanely hard challenge, the devs did sneak in a parkour course that if you aren't cheating using Jet will prove to be incredibly difficult. 
However, it has an adorable little prize at the end. Let's take a look at Valorant's client. This is the client we were given to test the game, but mind you that this is the alpha build. If you look at the top, you can see a few different tabs. Once you click on the collection tab, you'll be viewing your entire arsenal of guns that Valorant has to offer. From the arsenal tab, you can see on your left that you have your own choice of player cards, which are similar to Call of Duty's calling card system. On top of the images, you can also select your player title, though the favorite so far has to be the toxic title. Below is where you can switch your sprays around. Currently, there's no spray rail, but for the time being, you can delegate sprays between pre-round, mid-round, and post-round. There's absolutely nothing like spraying your opponent with assault emote after killing him to add a little extra to the wound. When you click on a gun, you can set up a cosmetic skin as well as a buddy, also known as charms. Right next to the arsenal tab, you'll see the agent tab. From here, you can see every agent and what each of their abilities do. This new feature is all about character progression. Each agent has the ability to be activated. When activated, each game you play accrues XP for that agent and that agent alone. All the XP you earn unlocks different tiers. Tiers 1 through 4 of the contract usually unlocks the calling card and titles, and tier 5 is when the agent is actually unlocked. From tier 6 through 10, there are normally animated sprays, gun buddies, and a custom gun skin for that agent's weapon of choice. Tiers 6 through 10 are located in the Chapter 2 tab, which seems to indicate we can expect a lot more of agent progression over time. The play tab, as I suggest, is actually how you get into the games. You'll see your friends listed on the right-hand side of the screen and the scores of the games they are in. While we didn't get a chance to go over ranked play in the alpha, we did see a sneak peek at the tiers. As of right now, instead of League of Legends Iron, Bronze, Silver, etc., it's Mercenary, Soldier, Veteran, Hero, Legend, and Mythic, and at the very top, Immortal. Next, let's quickly go over the store. If you look at the top right-hand corner, you can see there are two different types of currency. The currency on the left is the premium currency, similar to RP, while the currency on the right can either be purchased or earned in-game. At the moment, all of the currency is used for cosmetic gun skins that provide no competitive advantage. When you launch the store, you'll see a featured collection available to all players. However, if you look below it at the offer sections of the store, that is randomized exclusively for you. Some of the potential unlocks for these are different colored tracer bullets, a new colorful scope, or enemy death animations on the final kill and around. This is all we know about the shop at the moment, but something tells me there will definitely be more customization added in over time. That's about it when it comes down to what we've learned about Valorant so far, but one thing we want to hit on is how the experience actually felt. Riot has spoken publicly about how this is a multi-year investment and creating a new age tactical shooter is something they have immense passion behind. One of the main ways to get to the heart of this genre's established player base was the promise of 128 tick servers. We can tell you from a weekend of playing that the hit registration felt extremely smooth and all the gunfights were lag free. All in all, Valent has traded detailed realism for a colorful and focused game design that rewards strategic aim sense and impeccable aim. While the game did get a bit chaotic with the use of agent abilities, none of them seemed too broken to the point of concern. I had a ton of fun playing the past alpha and I'm looking forward to the upcoming closed beta. And most importantly, if you like what we're doing here at 100 Thieves, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It helps us out a lot. Oh, we win those, we win those. Oh, Raise the loot. Raise the loot. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, Jack chose so hard, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Jack thought he was slick. He probably like, we're all going to hit the teleporter, bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>